In this Inkscape tutorial, I'll be showing you how to draw this Ubuntu neon wallpaper. Now I've been trying to think of the best way to draw the Ubuntu logo and take the simplest option, which is to download a pre-made one. So on the Ubuntu page, which I just found for a Google search, there is a plain white SVG Ubuntu logo. I'll put a link to that in the description. So I've opened it up in Inkscape. Now if I just select the logo part of the image, because there's a white background to it, which is that, I'll just select the logo, take a copy, that's Control C. Now I'm going to create a new image, so new, and I'm going for the video HGTV size of 1920 by 1080 not limited to 1920 by 1080 because you can render it at a higher resolution. Anyway, let's paste that logo in. Uh, stretch it out a little bit, so hold down control and just stretch it out. Yeah, something like that. So, job done. No, it isn't. Press control, shift and F. I want to turn off the fill and I want to put a stroke color in. So I'm going for a cyan color. Let's just find that. Yep, something like that. And a stroke size of six. Actually, because I want to do a bit of editing on the image first, I'm going to put the stroke, I'm going to put the stroke size down to two. So there's the logo. So if I was to draw it from scratch, I could do like a circle and just hold down like control so it makes a circle. Put in the angles, which is something like it's going to be 5, 2, 1, 1, 5. Switch it to an arc shape, then duplicate it. Go back to the circle tool, and it'll be 1, 2, 5, 2, 2, 2, 3, 5. But you can see that's not even close to the rest of the image. Another way I could have done it is to trace it. So that will be snap to cusp nodes. And you could trace it like that, taking the node points, which all those. And then you could stretch it out and it would be like that. Something like there. I'm just doing it quickly and I'm not going to get them in the right place, but just to give you a rough idea. That's another way I could have done it. Yeah, then I could have adjusted the lines nicely and got them in the right place. Let's skip that and take the easy option. So I still want to do a bit of editing to that logo. I want to create some nice smooth corners so I'm just zooming into it and just going to move a bit away from the edge, double click and double click again then select that nose there at the corner and press delete. Just zoom in a bit more to give you an idea so I want to put this on a straight line, so sort of there, and back a bit, yeah, kind of like that. So now I've got a nice smooth corner. So I'm going to zoom out. Okay, even at 85%, you can just about see there is a little curve there. I want to do something like that for all the corners. So once again, go to that corner, back a little bit from it, double click. Double click, select that node, then press delete. That just got it nicely. Move across here, same again. Come on. Here we are, double click, delete, um, slightly off angle there. Move that on back, move that down, and that way. So I'm just going to repeat for the rest of them. So I'm going to cut this part of the video out because there is no real shortcut to it. At least I don't think there is. If someone has a good idea, please advise because <laughs> I can't really see how there would be. You have got tricks like simplifying a path that undoes what I'm trying to do <laughs> of creating a nice smooth corner. So I don't want that. It's like I'm wanting a complicated path because if I'd gone for the tracing option, I'd only have to do this once and then duplicate it. Actually, the tracing would have been quicker. Mm, maybe. It was actually the option I used when I first created this image. Okay, well, I've got nice smooth edges to the image now. And now to draw the font on, so that's using the text tool. With the Ubuntu font, of course. Why not? 
So just select somewhere on the screen and type in Ubuntu. Size 250. Now I'll just enlarge the spacing between the letters. 10 I think it might have been. Let's just put that down there. Go to path and select dynamic offset. They get this little node point here which you can move. What that does it increases the width of the font. It's a nice effect because you can't get emboldening quite that large. So something like that. Now I'll highlight the two objects, so just hold down shift, left click, and highlight both. And go to object group, select the object, and we'll go for a stroke style of it's gonna be like six, I think. Might need a bit of experimenting here. And a blur of uh, one's far too much. Yeah, I don't know why. Uh, we're going to be in size 0.1, I guess. So it will make it a bit easier to see what's going on and create a rectangle. Just draw a background to the image. So just drag outside the paper shape. And I can turn the stroke off and do a fill of something nice and dark. Back a little bit from black. So, yeah. Something like that. Select it and press end. Now you can see what's happening here. With If I duplicate that, go to stroke style and increase the blur of this one. So it'd be something like six, no, way too much. One, not enough. Three, two. That's how to draw the Neon Ubuntu wallpaper. If you want to render it now as a PNG file, go to File, Export, Bitmap, uh, select Page. And if you want it at a higher resolution, just increase the dots per inch to like 180, say. Uh, that's uh, 3840 by 2160. Well, thanks for watching. I'll see you all later.